Hi, Pete Morehead from Shoot Sports Magazine. Welcome to Gunmark TV. And welcome to the Blaza R8 Silence. You know me, I like R8s, I got one. But this is just a little bit different. It's not as Bruce Potts would want, a subsonic rifle designed for very slow loads. It's a standard hunting rifle that's been modified to take a full length moderator to give you uh, the ability to hunt without having to wear ear defence for you or your dog um, in a reasonably compact and handy package. Um, one of the problems with long barrel or long barrel hunting rifles and body and they, they tend to get a little bit cumbersome and um, Blazer have looked at this and gone the other way. The barrel on this is a mere 16 and a half inches uh, this one's in 308 and twist rate is 1 in 10.75 according to my cleaning rod test set. Um, 308 as a calibre is very forgiving of short barrels and I was a little bit intrigued to see how it would handle uh, what, what this rifle has to offer. The Modi is a reflex with a 31mm tube and I think about 8 inches of that is the moderator and the rest is the expansion chamber. Um, they've had to make a larger, wider forend, as you can see. There's a lot more meat on this R8 forend, though, though the furniture is standard, apart from that. It just slides on, screws in, and I don't know if you can see here, there's like a little shelf that steps down from the barrel reinforce. So the thread obviously anchors the moderator in place, but the back of the moderator sleeves over this, uh, this step, so you have front and rear support. There's a very, very minimal free float on the forend, just about almost sort of a sheet of paper, but the whole thing is very, very rigid. Um, it's pretty much a standard R8 apart from that. Um, the only difference is that they've now got the uh, illumination control. Years ago, Blaza meshed with, linked up with uh, Zeiss, and they made scopes that had a, like a magnetic switch that if you had the illumination turned on, but not actuated, just pushing forward on the decocker, it would trigger the, 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 um, the illumination. So basically, it's just one less thing to go wrong, really. Um, this one is the standard stock version. It's grade four wood, which is very nice quality. If you like wood, I don't. With a, um, one of the, sort of the little fluted type cheek pieces. Um, very nice indeed. They also do the success version, which is the same as my professional success, which is a thumbhole stock, but it's in wood with leather inserts on the grip and the forend rather than, than rubber and, and uh, polymer. Again, it's very pretty, but I wouldn't want to spend the extra money. I, I like things in synthetic. Um, I'm not sure whether there will be a synthetic version. Um, that remains to be seen. Hopefully we'll find out the IWA. But it's very much a standard straight pull blazer. Um, nice quick action. Being the R8, it feeds from a four round magazine, as you can see here. Um, it's, it's a vast improvement of the old R93, which I, 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 I appreciate the gun for its accuracy and performance, but I wouldn't ever buy one because I didn't like top loading and unloading the magazine. Um, this just clips in and there's in, this insert comes out so you can change calibers because it's a blaster basically. Uh, the gun is offered in um, 308, 8x57JS, um, 30 odd 6, 300 wind mag and 300 blaster magnum. Um, so you've got some pretty, well, well apart from the standard stuff you've got some pretty snotty calibers there. Barrel lengths, um, this one is 42 centimeters with 16 and a half inches then you get 47 centimetres, and I think the magnums are 52 centimetres, which obviously you get a significant increase in the length of the moderator. But unscoped, the rifle weighs about eight, just over eight pounds, 8.3 pounds. And though it's a little bit heavier than a standard hunting rifle, it's very handy. The weight is well back, uh, it's not that much longer, and all blazers, because of the nature of the very short action, for a comparable barrel length, they're two inches shorter, which is quite nice. But I've been using this for a couple of weeks now, and actually I'm quite liking it. Performance has been very interesting. Um, 
The short barrel is just about on the limit for a, th for a 308. Um, power wise, it's probably doing something round about what 6.5 Swedish with heavy bullets would do. Uh, I've shot a number of different loads with it. I've got RWS today, which is a double core, a 165 grain load. This shoots 0.7 an inch. Uh, the best performance I had was from Hornaday's ELDX 178 grain 308. Very surprised, Thre uh, half inch, 100 meters. Energy wise, that's doing about 2,350 foot pounds. The DK uh, is a lot slower. Well, no, it's not so much slower, it's doing about 2,300 foot pounds. Uh, sorry, 2,300 uh, feet per second, I'm sorry about that. And about just over 2,000 foot pounds. Uh, and really, it's a correlation between bullet weight and velocity. Uh, that's the trick. But um, but then again, they are within what I would call generic 6.5 Swede style envelope of energy, energy and velocity. So it, it's it's all pretty good. Uh, as we shall see, it's a pussycat to shoot. There's no big kick, and it is really quiet. I was not convinced at first, so I actually got in a standard 15 mil muzzle-mounted moderator, um, put it on the gun, and the signatures between this long slim reflex tube and that are significant this makes more of a whooshing noise than the bang whereas you get a much sharper um sharper noise with the muzzle mounted can i'm not saying the muzzle mounted can doesn't work but it shows that the blaser have designed something that's that's a lot more than just cosmetic um from that point that's that's all very good um i'm very happy to say as well that when they sent it to me, God bless them, they sent me a Blaser Infinity Scope with it. Woo! I saw these last year, I reported on the magazine last year, we went to Blaser and we shot the things. And um, it's an exceptionally high quality scope. I've been allowed to keep this scope once this goes back. And I'm gonna put it on um, a more normal rifle and give it a proper testing. But uh, as you can imagine, it's it's a Blaser scope. It's a little bit different. Um, uh, parallax and illumination is on the right, windage is on the left which is a bit weird and the top turret is a BDC type, I don't know if you can actually see that Ed, but it clicks round, so you just work out your drops and it clicks round, but it's got two positions, it, it locks at zero which is like 100 meters and then you can click it up and down and there's a pointer there and it locks there again and that will put the shot approximately four centimeters high, depending on what the cal what the caliber is, and the energy is, and the speed. Uh, with the the R8 silence, using the uh, the D the um, RWS load, clicking it round to that puts the shot an inch high at 100 meters. Uh, and when you think about the fact that it's go the round is going quite slow anyway, your effective range is lessened certainly in terms of energy. Um, for the sort of shooting you do, 200 yards is probably maximum really but anyway this is a really nice bit of glass quality um it's right up there with Swarovski and Zeiss as you can imagine it's an absolute quality piece of kit um so I started off thinking this was a clever a bit gimmicky but I've really got to like it so we'll just fire a few rounds I mean there's nothing special about that it's a blazer it works it's got a good trigger and uh as I said with the RWS it's doing 0.7 with the Hornadex doing 0.5, which I think is pretty good for a short barrel. Straight pull, always nice. Push the clocker up, you there. I don't know if the, the mic picked up that well, but that sounds really flat to me. And outside, without earphones on, where we test them mainly, uh, it sounds really flat. And taking it out and just shooting in the woods and things, there's a definite difference in noise output, and it's a positive one. Um, recoil is nice. There's none of the nasty sharp boot of a 308 at all, uh, because there's a bit of extra weight up front, but I think the whole thing comes together. And it's more like shooting a 243, if anything. 
and it's accurate. Um, this one, the standard model, will set you back a couple of quid and five thousand pounds. It's a blazer, guys. It's got grade four furniture on it. It's got the black stock with the gold inlays. It's not a cheap rifle. If they ever do a synthetic one, I believe that'll bring the price down considerably. Um, but I don't think I've ever seen what I would call an almost fully moderated rifle in such a nice and shootable package. But that's the Blazer R8 Silence.